Uh, it is 5.30, <clears throat> and you'd think we'd be ready for dinner, but no, elder hostels keep going until they drop. We are going to Cashmere's to see two knock carpets, 100 knots to the inch, and the silk carpets are 800 knots to the inch. This is amazing. Can you see those women going 800 knots to an inch? Oh, my God. Also, wool and cotton carpets are being made there. So I, somebody bought something. I, I can't remember if it was Nancy or Donna. Somebody bought a carpet. I think it was Nancy. We had a Thai dinner, and I don't know, but I am almost positive that I ate a sheep's eye in the soup. Um, I could be wrong. And also there was something strange. It was like a sea urchin. It was the size of a golf ball, uh, not round. It had many compartments it, with black dots in it. Uh, the the thickness of the thing, compartments was uh, less than tissue paper. Uh, I don't have any idea it was. I try, I had a little bite of it and I pulled it out. What's this? Oh boy! Well, the soup had five five different kinds of mushrooms and vegetables of all different colors. The carrots are red here, and the radishes are white, and all are huge. Everyone seems to be well and healthy so far. While we were on the bus, I counted 25 men peeing along the walls today. You see them everywhere. Um, you don't see women doing that, though. Garbage is forever in the city, but not in the country. Our bus driver is Dom, and his helper is Daryl. The whole trip was relaxing for us because Dom was such a good driver. We never had to get scared, you know. He was really great. We are heading for the Trinity Hotel in Agra, and this is beautiful country, but, of course, we're on the Thar Desert, and the trees are sparse. In the hills, they have scrub trees, and in town, they have trees that are non-existent. Uh, you see people with small knives cutting whatever is there. Maybe it's two inches across or three inches across. They're cutting them down. And then um, when the sprouts come out, they just become bushes of sprouts, you know. Um, I don't know what they use the wood for. Do they, use, they have cow patties for fire, you know, to use for fire. Um, do you think that the wood is used for carving um, you see many carved elephants with carved elephants inside the carved elephants. You know, they got holes and you can look inside and see, oh, look, there's another elephant there. And, and all other carved things. Um, maybe they use them for carving to make a living from the tourist. I should have asked Moko. <laughs> Trivia. All Sikhs have turbans, beards, and mustaches. And the turbans can help us tell, uh, let us know what the caste is, what the profession is, and where they come from. Now today, Bob is ill. Mukul explained about the gods. They have so many, a few. Vishnu, Saravali, Shiva, Garnish, Inchi, Shiliot, Beskirite, and I have trouble saying in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, or the Holy Toast, as, Mrs. as Francis McCourt of Angela's Ashes said. Now, after I read that book, every time I go to say the Father and Son and the Holy Ghost, I say the Holy Toast. <laughs> I don't know. I've got to get off of that. On the way, we see the ladies kneading the cow dung. They don't knead them like they need cow dung. I mean, they're kneading it with their hands like they would knead bread. And they make them into a certain number of, uh, of a round circle, and then they make a patty out of it. And then they put their handprints in them for designs, or they use a stick and make a design. 
And I think that is probably to tell their patties from their neighbor's patties. As they all dry in the sun, you know, they're on the rooftops. Any place they can put those things, they're there. Row on, row on, row on, row.